how many of y'all in here are fans of roller coasters? Me, I am now, but before I really, really wasn't. I hated it. I hadn't been on a roller coaster since sixth grade, and I'm an old man now, so that's a super, super long time ago. But what changed my mind on roller coasters was my sister in law. She convinced me to get on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind over at Disney World. And I went on that ride. I was scared. I was scared like crazy getting on, but I got on, and the ride started off fast, and it got nothing but faster and crazier. But what that roller coaster did for me, it prepared me for every other roller coaster that I've been on since then. But something that really should have prepared me to get on Cosmic Rewind was the Baltimore Ravens. Because the Baltimore Ravens, they have been taking us through this emotional roller coaster for years. Being a Baltimore Ravens fan, you will go through all the highs, the lows, the drops, the twists, the turns. They'll have you spinning in circles, all of that stuff because of the type of team that they are. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily a good thing. It's just what it is. Being a Baltimore Ravens fan is not all bad. Being a Baltimore Ravens fan is not all good. It's a lot more good than bad, but... Speaking of Guardians of the Galaxy, the name of that ride is Cosmic Rewind. So there's some things that just keep on happening over and over with the Baltimore Ravens. And we got a lot of questions when it comes to that. But this newest hire of the Baltimore Ravens, it has a lot of fans questioning exactly what type of direction they're headed in and what's been going on all this time. And, and who's really responsible for X, Y, and Z? We're going to get into all of that team, keep it clean. But first, let's hear a word from our sponsor. You know, sometimes I consider myself to be the king of convenience. I'm always looking for ways to try to make stuff easier because I think that's important. Because when you make stuff easier, that makes life easier. It makes things more simple and it gives you more time for enjoyment. That's why a good chop is perfect. What good chop is, is a fully customized box of high quality meat and seafood delivered right to your door on your schedule the products are vacuum sealed and flash frozen at peak freshness so you can stock your freezer and cook when you want and with each order there's something for everybody you can choose from over 60 high quality cuts 100 grass-fed ribeye usda prime filet mignon wild caught salmon free range and organic chicken breasts chicken wings pork tenderloin and thick cut bacon just to name a few and good chop only sources the good stuff which is why they feel confident about their 100 money back guarantee you either love Good Chop or you get your money back. But once you order, I don't think you'll even have to worry about that. Because with Good Chop, it saves you trips to the grocery store. And you don't have to be at the supermarket wondering, man, is, is this meat good quality? And it wasn't even a question when I made the ribeye that I was making the good stuff. I took it out the package. Had to season it up a little bit with some old bakers. You know, we throw it on everything. And I had to throw it on a grill because that is the best way to make steak. And it came out really, really good. Y'all know I loved it. And so you can order your Good Chop box. Go to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use code engraven120 or click the link in the caption below to get $120 off across your first four boxes. Again, that's goodchop.com slash YouTube and use code engraven120 or click the link in the caption below to get $120 off across your first four boxes. You can thank me later. So team, keep it clean. This should be a fun one. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single video because I don't want y'all left out. And also leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a ton. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I know a lot of y'all don't love this, but let's get into it. So uh, this report came from Tom Pelissero. He said, Reunion. The Ravens are expected to hire Jerry Rossberg. Does that name sound familiar? Well, it should be because he used to be Baltimore Ravens special teams coordinator. Anyway, uh, the Ravens are expected to hire Jerry Rossberg in a role focused on game management per sources. And that got a lot of Ravens fans ticked off. Anyway, he said Rossberg, who is 68 years old, was Baltimore's special teams coordinator from 2008 to 2018 before retiring. He served as Denver's interim head coach in the year 2022. Now he's back to Baltimore. So they bring him back. A familiar face and I always say hey when it comes to the Harbaugh's that's one thing you could say a lot about John Harbaugh and really the whole family but one thing you cannot deny is that if you if they looked out for you before and you looked out for them and you got a good relationship with them you ain't burn no bridges you will always have a job you will always have an opportunity they will always create a role just for you if they want to put you on and that's exactly what's going on right here now the role that Jerry Rossberg is being put in is to focus on game management. I know a lot of a lot of Ravens fans were very, very upset and frustrated with that. Um, and a lot of Ravens fans were fed up. Like, listen to some of these responses, because uh, I, I tweeted that the Ravens are fed up. 
Oh, Ravens fans are fed up, excuse me, and listen to some of these responses. Uh, one of my guys said, it's the new norm now. Uh, somebody else said, I thought this was a thing that Harbaugh did, but I'm guessing it's what the franchise does as a last resort. Uh, somebody else said, they just showed the league how little they think of Harbaugh's game management. Somebody else said, it's so shameless, though. You just showed the whole league you don't have confidence in Harbaugh's game management. Would have been a better look if they just fired him. Somebody else said, we're past the point of being fed up uh somebody else said i'm tired of being tired and then somebody else said not even fed up just embarrassed at this point on the flip side hopefully jerry rossberg keeps john harbaugh in line so and there were a lot more responses too but that was pretty much the sum of what a lot of people was saying um and with this move like i was a little confused by it initially because i figured like all right game management who manages the game for the baltimore ravens who's responsible for managing the game for the baltimore ravens isn't that john harbaugh i, I think it is because he's the head coach everything everything goes through him offensive coordinator you got to go through it defensive coordinator you're under him special teams coordinator you got to report to john harbaugh players and whatnot he, everything goes through john harbaugh He's usually the one calling the timeouts. He's the one. He got to make that official call if they're going to throw the challenge flag or not. John Harbaugh is the one. Who's the one who has to accept, has to decline the penalties? Who's the one who we've, again, uh, more evidence that John Harbaugh is the one who's managing the game. We've seen different instances throughout plenty of seasons. Like, think about the Super Bowl season, for as a matter of fact, where John Harbaugh, it was his call, hey, to, to have them, um, Sam Cook to run out of the back of the end zone. And just take the safety. Uh, re remember in the game, a game earlier this season, where it was clear that Demarcus Robinson caught a touchdown in the Rams game. It was clear that he caught a touchdown, but John Harbaugh, he threw the challenge flag, not because he really wanted to challenge it, but because he wanted extra time in order for the Baltimore Ravens to get ready because they knew that the Rams were going to go for two. So there are more examples that we can't think of off the top of our heads. I know y'all can think of more, but there are plenty more examples that show John Harbaugh is the one that made makes those decisions John Harbaugh is the one that has to make the call in order for the Baltimore Ravens to do certain things like that so I figure that he manages the game already now I don't have a problem with him getting extra help because obviously especially had the Baltimore Ravens been going out there's nothing wrong with getting extra help and I know a lot of Ravens fans like look Harbaugh needs to be fired. He needs to be out of here. Ravens need to let him go. Let me let you know yet again. I've let y'all know this already, but I know some people, like, they, they, they still want it to happen. And I'm not mad at people wanting Harbaugh to be removed from his duties. But, look, it ain't happening. John Harbaugh is not going to get fired from the Baltimore Ravens, and he probably never will. And I know a lot of Ravens fans hate hearing something like that, but... It's the truth. For John Harbaugh to leave from the Baltimore Ravens, he will have to step down himself. He ain't going nowhere. So we just got to hope, as Baltimore Ravens fans, that any help that he brings in, it'll be good help. And obviously, John Harbaugh knows something about assembling a staff because, I mean, we look at last year and uh, hello, a bunch of those guys, they getting a bunch of jobs elsewhere. Why? Because they were phenomenal staff. And that's part of the reason why so many of us Ravens fans are extremely frustrated at how this season ended be <coughs> because they were special. They were such a special team. Like Anthony Weaver, now a defensive coordinator for the Dolphins. Mike McDonald. Now he's a uh, head coach of the Seahawks. Um, Denard Wilson. Now he's the defensive coordinator for the Titans. Um, and Joe Ortiz. Now he's what the, the GM for the Chargers, I believe. And there were more people that left and got roles as well. But the Baltimore Ravens had something special. But since they've had something special before, it's possible that they can get something special again. So with Ravens fans being upset about this hire, I get it. I get it because you're like, why would he need to hire somebody to handle game management if he is supposed to be the game manager? Shout out to Brock Purdy. But anyway, <laughs> nah, I ain't Cam Newton. But anyway, um, more help couldn't hurt. More expertise couldn't hurt. Another set of eyes, it certainly couldn't hurt, especially from somebody who is as respected by the Baltimore Ravens organization 
as a Jerry Rossberg. The way that I'm looking at it, I know a lot of Ravens fans looking at it in a negative aspect, like, oh, John Harbaugh, why, why are you doing this? And I get it. The way I'm looking at it or choosing to look at it is like, hey, all right, John Harbaugh looks at things this way. He may look at things this way. But if you get somebody else who can show you things in a different light and you're willing to accept that, because that's, that's a big part right there too, he has to be willing to accept counsel, recommendations, advice from Jerry Rossberg. But if you can get somebody else in there who can look at things from a different point of view, that can help out a ton. And, and that's what we want with these Baltimore Ravens. We just need somebody who can get into John Harbaugh's ear, who can get into his ear and say, hey, it's okay to change some stuff up. It's okay to not panic. It's okay to calm down. Let's not forget who we are. And Jerry Rossberg, he obviously knows who the Baltimore Ravens are because, again, we look at his time with the Baltimore Ravens. I, I think that the, the dates that Jerry Rossberg was with the Ravens are very important because, again, from 2008 to 2018. So Jerry Rossberg, he was there from jump with John Harbaugh and he was there with Joe Flacco and he got to see a hey, that first year went to the AFC championship okay that worked that worked. okay oh that didn't work oh okay all right second year they won a playoff game but then they got kicked out of third year they won a playoff game but then the, the, then the fourth year oh we right there we're so close but then, of course, there was the wide left, Billy Cundiff, wide left, wide right, whatever it was. It was wide angle. And, um, but then, so Jerry Rossberg got to see all of that. He got to see the Baltimore Ravens take steps forward. Sometimes it was some steps backwards. He got to see them, the evolution of the Baltimore Ravens in that stretch. And then, of course, in the year 2012, he got to really see and be a part of the reason why they not only made the playoffs, not only won playoff games, but won the ultimate game in the Super Bowl. But then he was also a part of the transition. Just he was there at the very end of it, though, because Lamar came in Jay Rossberg's last year in 2018. So he got to be a part of the transition. But once it was officially handed to Lamar, like, hey, you are guy week one, you are starter. Jay Rossberg wasn't there anymore. So maybe having somebody that has seen Baltimore Ravens' most recent ultimate success knows what it's like to be in the building for that, knows what it's like, and has experience with that. Just maybe that can be somebody that can promote some positive change, especially when it's needed the most. Because, again, regular season, I don't think any Ravens fans, my, if, minus if there was injuries or something, I don't think any Ravens fans are worried about the regular season. Funny because we said this exact same thing last year. Same exact thing. We, we weren't worried about the regular season, and we didn't say that in no cocky or arrogant way. We just felt like we knew the Baltimore Ravens would take care of business in the regular season because that's what they do. That's what they normally do. If Lamar Jackson is healthy, oh, you can guarantee the Baltimore Ravens, they're going to be either a number one seed or they're going to be at the top of the AFC somewhere, somewhere around the top. If Lamar Jackson's healthy, they're good to go there. But where our concern is and has continued to be, especially since 2019, how they handled that. What are the Ravens going to do in the playoffs? How are they going to handle themselves in the playoffs? I know a lot of Ravens fans don't want to hear this, but just maybe, maybe Jerry Rossberg can help in that department since he's been there, done that, and been a part of that. And maybe... He can help John Harbaugh and the Baltimore Ravens get back to their true winning ways when it matters the most. 